Okay, welcome back to Zondercost. Uh, I've had a look at what the humans are selling, and none of it is really useful, so I can't be bothered doing that for the time being. Now, the demons are still hanging out in what used to be my well, and we have killed quite a few of them, i got to say. Uh, unfortunately, I mean, they don't count as, like, historical figures. So they don't count as notable kills, so if you look at the bronze senses, uh, there's the tragedy of sadness there, and eternal something? What is that? What is your... Uh, yeah, I think, that, well anyway, what I'm saying is a, co a couple of them have legendary names, but despite the fact that a lot of them are uh, killing demons, they or not getting legendary names from it. So no, you don't have a legendary name. Oh well. But, yeah, they have killed quite a few of them, and it is causing a really serious amount of miasma over in this corner. Uh, which is kind of unpleasant, but yeah, we have whittled it down somewhat. But, uh, you appear to have earned a name. Yeah, I think that's the one that's killed these guys down here. Uh, he's quite happy just chilling out down there and yeah this is an issue as well the fact that I replaced a lot of the uh, military guys but all of the uniforms are down here and until we like regain possession of these areas uh, we're not gonna get them back so yeah that's that's an issue. We're not going to be able to use our melee squads for a while, because they are essentially naked. <laughs> and um, yeah, we're going to have to do something about that as well. Right, that guy didn't make it down there, so he's still got his uniform. But we're going to have to set these to overclothing, because otherwise they are going to be running around with no clothes on. Uh, I think it was deep castles, maybe? You might still be alive, I'm not sure. In any case, we'll set their uniforms to overclothing so they can go grab some pants. Uh, that'll be nice. And yeah, when we eventually recover their uniforms, we'll get them back. And yeah, we'll change that. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Alright, so let's order these. I cannot see what is what over here. But yeah, it's all of these guys over here again, so that they... Uh, yeah, it's nice that they follow the path um, designation across here. And then they walk down like this, and as they hit here, they start pathing around the wall, so they're right next to the fortifications. And I have noticed that that means that they start shooting the demons uh, quite rapidly. Yeah, you see, you can go... Like, you can see them going all the way around. And yeah, they've killed a lot of them. They really have, but there's a shell there, which is worth nothing. I mean, come on, it's a demon shell, really. I don't know if I can use these things. Maybe we'll get some, uh, oh god, uh, yeah. That was going to happen. A dwarven baby has died of thirst because their parents have died. But yeah, when I station them over here, they kind of shoot at them until they run out of ammunition, and then... Uh, then I have to just cancel their orders and let them go about their business for a while. This guy's really distracting. Like, he's he's still got a broken spine. I mean, that's not ever getting fixed. So he just kind of crawls around blinking away like that. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I should throw him to the demons. Are you done? Are you... No, one of you is still shooting. At least I can see you. I mean, they should carry a lot of bolts. Uh, let's see. You can never find their quiver. All of this stuff's always in different orders. Well, you've got one bolt left, and you've just fired it. So, uh, let's cancel the order, let them run off and do their thing for a while. And this is what we've had to be doing for quite some time. Now, yeah, I had this when I loaded the game up as well. They were just, I think I saved it when they had a station command, but then the order wasn't there when when I loaded it back up again, but they were still stuck there. Ah, there we go. Well, no. That's some of them gone, but 
the rest of them are still just stood there, even though they don't have the order to. So let's try moving them. And yeah, this guy's pretty fucking awesome, though. Who is that? Yeah, that's, um... No, oh, do you have a name? The Cooperative Exit of... What? Ensor Silly? Uh, let's try that in here. No, I can't... I can't get this big enough to see what that is. Ensor Silly... That's obviously abbreviated or something, but... I guess... Yeah, you've earned yourself a name and I didn't even notice. Uh, so you have eight notable kills, twenty other kills. Um, yeah, mostly wildlife. And you've got a, a specter of tears and a blizzard fiend, so he's killed at least a couple of demons. Pretty badass, really. So I guess we'll call you. I mean, what was it? The cooperative exit, I suppose, because I can't really see what the last word is. Cooperative exit. Yeah, he'll do for now. Um, yeah, unless I stretch it over two monitors later and see what exactly is what. So, I don't know, why you, why are you stood here? You don't have the order to stand there. You, you have a an armor stand somewhere where you're supposed to be training, honestly. But yeah, I mean, besides the pile of rotting demons in the corner, life is going on. We have uh, stuff to do. So, is this ceiling built? It is indeed. That means that we can start building some more beds. Hey, okay. Let's see how quickly I can do this without giving myself RSI. Nice. Well, there's a random bit of floor there that has not been snowed on in the middle of that room. That's pretty strange. Hmm. There we go. All of these beds. And... Now we want... Uh, cabinets. There we go. Alright, how many cabinets do I have left? 42. Of course. Those tiny rooms at the end. I feel sorry for the dwarves that have those. I don't know, they like it though, honestly. I feel like they like the tiny rooms. Because, um, you know, if you look at their thoughts, they're always happy about sleeping in horribly cramped little rooms. As long as they've got somewhere to put all of their socks, they're fine. Alright. Now we want containers, and I can't do this quite so quickly. Because I need to make sure that it's a coffer that they're building. Although it doesn't really matter. It could be a bag, it's fine. They just don't hold as much. But yeah, it seems like it's defaulting to coffer every time. Oh, my arm, it hurts. <laughs> yeah. There's one thing this game is good for. It's for giving you horrible RSIs. Oh, there we go. Right by the door. That's a health hazard, that is. Someone's going to trip over that. Right, so how many is that? That's 6 times 3, 18. Right, so we have the there. We have built 18 beds. Now, there's a lot of beds just sat on the floor in here, uh, which is a bit irritating. But yeah, we're going to remove 18 beds. So that's 2. Uh, six. Du, 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 du. Right. Uh, I have lost count. I wasn't counting. So, <laughs> I don't know. Well, whatever. I'll just remove them up to there. And they can go nuts. Wow, they're loving it. They're just like, oh yeah, we get to put down chests. Uh, we are down to 59 citizens again. That is... <laughs> really bad. So many people have died here. I mean, dead missing 987. I'm gonna have to flush this out at some point, actually. Because, yeah, this, um, there is a, a thing which makes stuff stop turning up if you have, uh, so many deceased things. But, yeah, let's have a look at these guys. Did you put clothes on? Uh, dress, toga, trousers. Um, yeah. Ah, now you actually have your uniform. Yeah, we don't want you to have your uniform. You are wearing just clothes, that's fine. But yeah, Litast Dodd Blah. Where are you? That is you there. We need to get you to not have that uniform over your clothing. 
I wanted to replace the clothing. I didn't realize I had two of the uniforms. That is good. But it's obviously not ideal. Alright, let's get these guys back over here to kill some more of these demons. And you've just been stood there the whole time, haven't you? You idiots. I bet you haven't even picked up any ammunition. Guarantee it. Where is your bloody quiver? Where is it? God damn it. Oh, there it is. Troll for a quiver. Oh, okay. You do actually have bolts. Shoot the dwarves. Not shoot the dwarves. Shoot the demons. Why did you just... What is that? Oh, of course. They're just carrying around barrels of rum. Why wouldn't they? Right. Yeah, so I feel like eventually we'll whittle down the demon numbers enough that uh, we will actually be able to... Is there a steel spear there? Let's get that. Yeah, that we'll actually be able to go claim the underground again properly, but... Yeah, it is going to take a long time, I feel, because... Yeah, I mean, there's so many of them. Um, can we zoom to them? Yeah, a lot of them are just still chilling out in the spire. Yeah, these are the ones that went up. And they have gone up to nowhere, basically. There's no... There's no way into the fort from there. So, quail monster. That's funny. A towering a an eyeless quail. A round shell. Who are its poisonous bite? Yeah, so, I don't know. Those guys are just kind of, you know, chilling out in there. And then there's one down here in this corridor who's chilling out. Uh, are there any down here? There's a dead dwarf. That's going to be a problem, getting that stuff back. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that really is going to be a problem as well, isn't it? Devil of Fire right wing. Oh, it looks like he took one with him. But yeah, it looks like I would have to... Well, I suppose, yeah, build a downstairs on that um, hole there. Is that just open space, though? Yeah, I suppose I could build upstairs there. After I've built... Oh, right. Um, yeah, I don't know. Well, anyway, it's all academic at the moment. We actually have to kill the demons first. Because, yeah, I mean, if I open this drawbridge to even attempt going down there, then it would just... It would be horrible. Everybody would die very, very quickly. Uh-oh. Right, they're fighting back, actually. They are... Yeah, I can see stuff splattering against the wall here. Um, so, yeah, they're obviously shooting something out. It looks like they might be blocking it, though. Or at least just not getting hit. Dodge the miasma! <laughs> Dodge it! Alright, how are you guys doing with the bolts, anyway? You're still making the bolts. That is good. I mean, here is the stockpile here, and there's just fucking hundreds of them, so... That is fine. You know, it's almost as if the goblins actually know that there's something up at uh, Zondercost, because they're just... they're not here. There should be an ambush. Um, and yeah, it's it's very tempting just to raise the bridge, honestly. Because, I don't know, I mean, there is, uh, there is a whole bunch of cage traps here. What are you doing? What exactly are you doing? You are just wearing clothes. Sleep. Oh, well, okay. You can sleep. I give you permission to do that. Right. Uh, they're just going to town on this, actually. They're actually doing what I would hope them to do. And that is shoot the crap out of them and then go grab some more ammunition. So, maybe this won't take too long after all. Yeah. Seems quite useful. Alright. So... While they're doing that, and while the goblins are being uncast uncharacteristically shy, I think I'll pause the recording and just wait and see if something interesting crops up. Well, new migrants are always interesting. That is, if they don't uh, get ambushed on the way in. So, first up, we have this guy in the dashing blue shirt. Right, who are you? You are a leather worker. You're also a competent spear dwarf. Um, I will leave you to your leather work, because that's always something useful. 
It looks like we got a oh, fishery worker. Uh yes. Sarvesh bridge braided. Oh bridge braid. You are utterly useless. Um you are female as well. Slow to tire and strong though. I dunno. But yeah, you are basically just useless. Utterly useless. You can't do any fishing, we don't have fish. Well, there are cave fish actually, but uh, yeah. So stone working, you can be a mason. Well done. Yak bull calf. Let's slaughter that before it starves to death. And what is that? A lamb. It's somebody's pet. Well, there's a tantrum waiting to happen. This adorable animal can't work. Yeah. Well, can't eat either. I'm afraid. Right. So you are. Let's have a look at you. A former member of some stuff. The Dutiful Floor. The Portal of Ethics. There, yeah, I was just glancing at their skills. There's quite a few, but... Adequate Sopa. <laughs> oh, the way it puts that. Sopa. Mm. Uh, yeah, so what was that in there? Soap making? I, that is useful. We do occasionally make soap. But uh, you can be a mason as well. Never have enough of those. Right, another yak calf. Let's slaughter that. A poult. Uh, that's somebody's pet. Well, that's that'll be fine. That won't die. Is that a... What is that? Where's my cursor? Ah. That is somebody's pet bunny. Um, do they graze? I don't think they do. But Competent hammer dwarf. Adequate animal trainer. Adequate potash maker. Oh, okay. Those are moderately useful. Oh, that looks like some kind of farmer. Yes, Miller Thresher Beekeeper. Useless. Right. No milling. No stuff. No things. You. Masonry. Do it. Chop, chop. Right. Who's this? Another shearer. Competent mace dwarf. An adequate shearer. Now, you are a perfect candidate for the military. You only have one utterly useless labour, and you know, what is your name? Iden Ostrom. So what was your weapon skill? Mace Dwarf. Now I'm fairly certain that we have some Mace Dwarf thing to uh, Sword Dwarf, Axe Dwarf, uh, let's try this one. Hammer Dwarf, Spear Dwarf. I don't know, it's kind of moot really because all of the uniforms are down in the cavern somewhere, but so yeah, Mace Dwarf. Uh, was there one in the crystal and straps? So you're only a competent one. But no, I'll just... Where is my... Ah, there we are. I'll put him in the Syrups of Wandering and we'll swap out the weapons. And I've forgotten the guy's name already. What the hell was his name? Oh, he's a Shearer, so that's him. Right. Uh, and yeah, it's really not even going to matter, really. Because... <laughs> He can't get to the weapons, so we need a mace for him. Something that he can hopefully get to. And we'll set this to overclothing as well. Uh, well, there's an iron mace. It's not perfect, but at least you can practice with your weapon for the time being. And I did not remove the other weapon, did I? Uh, whoops. Mm, iron mace. I had uh, an, an iron two-handed sword for that squad position, anyway. Right, did I miss somebody there? I probably did. Yes, yeah, so I missed... Uh, was that you? Or was that the other guy? There was a guy who was... So I've forgotten their names already. Was he the Shearer or the... The Mace? No, it was this guy, actually. Minkot something. Right, I have put the wrong person in the squad. Doubt. Yeah, I told you, I forgot his name already. I am just... There we go. <sighs> I'm just terrible with names. Alright, competent Mark's Dwarf. You're a lie maker and amazing at everything. Um, you like Emperor Penguin leather. You monster. Emperor Penguins are so cute. How could you do that? Yeah, so... You do have a few skills, but I don't know, not too many, I suppose. Not too many. 
great lie maker. No, I think we'll just go ahead and put you in the static ethics. And again, I have forgotten their name. I don't think I even looked at it. But <laughs> yeah, there you are. Unim Redden Redden Cos. Right. And we got whoops. That's not what I meant. Alright, you, stray yak calf. Um Slaughter, yes. Alright, so I think that's all of them. Um, okay, another forgotten beast has arrived. Composed of snow and it has three curly tails. And I don't care. I, you know, forgotten beasts are old hat, really. I've got demons. <laughs> I don't need you guys. Alright, go and eat and drink, for Christ's sake. I didn't think you would stand there that long. Now, are these guys all dead? Um. Yes. <laughs> what the? My God, I, I'm not. Is there? A, right, that's. Right, I'm pressing V. It's snagging onto a farmer. On the other side of the room, I guess. Yeah. So all of the demons that were chilling out over here are dead. Now, there's not on this stairway. Obviously not in that cavern. What was that? Broken arrow? Yeah, I... What was that? Uh, that one is... What the fuck? I don't even know, man. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, one of them dodged down here. And it, was, it had that many bolts inside it when it died. Holy fuck. Uh, somebody... Right, that's um there is a bunch of armor and stuff there though. Yeah, I think those are from goblins that I dumped down there a really long time ago. Like seriously long time ago. But um yeah, they appear to have all perished. But yeah, it's like I said, there is still a fuckload of them. But they're all in real really weird places. So I don't know, I feel like I feel like if I open up this area, then they'll start pathing their way. Because I think it's kind of scripted that they go up to the top of the spire. And then burst out from there, but we didn't, bre we didn't breach the top of the spire, we breached halfway down. And they only started coming over here because I sent my military in to kill them. Um, yeah. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking we risk it, because we can't, we can't leave this how it is forever, right? But we may be able to seal them in, so what I'm thinking is, if we do that thing I said, yeah. Now, what's there? Right, there's some, there's something there that has a missing tile or something, it's just a black space. But yeah, if we build some stairs down so we can get this shit, um, and yeah, there's two gaps here. This is how the demons would get down. I mean, the problem is that this guy is just chilling out in this corridor, and we don't, we don't have a way of killing that guy, basically. I mean, he is not even remotely wo wounded. And he's already killed a lot of people, so, um... Cancel slaughter animal, animal inaccessible. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, I've still got the uh, civilian alert on. I really don't want anybody wandering around at this point. But, yeah, as soon as it steps inside here, someone's gonna grab it. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I can get you now. Ha ha ha, I must kill you. Um... Yeah, so I'm not sure how to proceed here, because I only have my Marks Dwarves left, really. I do have some melee guys. This guy, uh, Militia Commander. Oh, you're not an Axe Dwarf. Uh, really? Hmm. What is their, what is their skill? Because I feel like I have uh, given them the wrong position there. Where are you? I should see Militia Commander. There we go. So, you're really unhappy. What's wrong? 
Embarrassed to have no shoes, embarrassed to be uncovered, embarrassed to have no shirt. Right. You're naked, that's why. Oops, and yeah, you are actually Spear Dwarf as well, so... I feel like I've got these all the wrong way around. Spear Dwarf... Right, X Dwarf there, Swords Dwarf. Hmm... So, right, we'll change that to overclothing then. So yeah, it was obviously this position that still had the uniform. And I promoted them without thinking. Uh, don't... Right, what about these guys? Let's go back to positions. Is there a Spear Dwarf position in this squad? Um, no. So yeah, basically I'm just going to have to change your weapon to a spear. Uh, I have absolutely no idea what any of these bloody artifacts are. Right, there's a steel spear there anyway. Um, bleh. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> what this is. What's that? I don't know. Yeah, some of them are shields, one of them's a weapon. There might even be two weapons, I think. Beckmar something. Uh it's a steel battle axe. That I yeah, fainted troubled is is the weapon for that position, I'm fairly certain. So let's have a look. Yeah, there it is. Ildor Ildom Kumbom. That one. Is the weapon for that position, so yeah. We'll remove that, and somebody will get it eventually. Eventually, once I actually recover all of this equipment, I will fucking sort out the uniforms properly. But right now it's a bit of a clusterfuck, because I don't know what we can access or what we can't access. But, um, yeah, this guy is really our only issue right now. I mean, the rest of the demons are all squirreled away, so... I'm going to go away and have a think about this. Right, so I have made a decision. I am sending the Marx Dwarves after the last remaining demon that is visible anyway. This guy here. So I've ordered them to move down here. And I've ordered that bridge to be opened. And hopefully they do well. But yeah, honestly, oh god, what are you shooting at? Is there a demon there? Uh, yes, there is. And I have just ordered the bridge to be opened. Um, yeah, and it's it's open. It's open. Right. I thought all of them had died there, because, yeah, I used I used the, the V key to look here. And uh, why is it still latching onto that guy? But, yeah, this, this demon has, has killed. Uh, he's missing a couple of feet. A great loris composed of snow. Oh, they're cute. Well, it's made out of snow, so hold on, they just killed it. Well, um, just leave it then. Right, uh, cancel that. Cancel. They have killed it. It was made of snow. It was a pushover. Right, um, a pile of snow. That's all that's left of it. Right, uh, we want to claim all this crap over here, I suppose. Probably not a good idea, but nobody can get over there anyway, so... Where are you going? Well, you must be getting some things. Right, so I'm going to wait for the Marx Dwarves to all funnel past this bridge. Right, so now we're going to close the bridge again. Because, good God, we don't want anything coming out of there, really. Now, let's, um, let's follow them down. You, I will follow you. Right, off we go. Whee! Yeah, this should be interesting. I think they're all going to get ripped to pieces. I really do. Uh, but we shall find out. Maybe they're just good enough. I mean, they've had a lot of practice over the last month or so. at uh, shooting demons in a demon shooting gallery. So, yeah, maybe they'll just sort of knock it out in one go. I doubt it, though. Uh-oh, someone is unconscious already. Yep. I was following the guy at the back of the queue. So this guy, uh, I think he's a new recruit actually, if I remember correctly. But yeah, he's unconscious, dizzy, and pale. Uh, he's got a finger missing, and a foot missing. 
and stuff, everything. Yeah, did he kill it? Oh my god! He killed it though, I think. Let me just see. Did you kill it? No, you haven't killed anything. Uh, what about you? Oh, you've killed a goblin. Who killed it? I have to know. I don't know what's wrong with this guy. Everything is yellow, but then it says nothing in here. It's the guy who arrived with teeth missing. Um, right, you killed a troll at some point in the past. But yeah, with that demon... Oh god, why are you over there? Don't be over there. Seriously. Don't go anywhere near that. I mean, we will uh, be sending somebody near it, actually. But yeah, with that demon in this corridor dead, we can actually come down here, we can build some stairs to claim this stuff here. Because I am not leaving that stuff in there. Hell no. And... Yeah, just wall this shit off and never fucking come down here again. Yeah, so that's what we'll do next time. And hopefully this guy doesn't die. Thank you for watching. We beat the demons, kind of, maybe. <laughs> There's still a few of them left, but yeah, I'll see you next time.